Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you some tips to help keep your Neo safe while using palm control. Now, before we get into it, I just want to mention a couple of things. DJI recommends connecting your Neo to the Fly app on your mobile device before using palm control for the first time. If the Neo malfunctions during a palm control flight, this will allow you to use your smartphone and the Fly app to quickly take control of the drone. Also, I recommend using the propeller guards that came with your Neo. The guards provide good protection for your fingers and also help protect the Neo's propellers against branches and other hazards. Okay, let's get started. Now, palm control is really simple. You power on the device using the typical DJI power sequence. Press the power button once, then press and hold. Once the Neo is powered up, place it on the palm of your hand with the camera facing towards you and extend your arm. Next, you can select your desired smart snap by pressing the mode button to cycle through six options. Follow. Droney. Circle. Once you have your smart snap selected, hold the mode button down for two seconds. The Neo will confirm your selection, count down, then take off and perform the desired action. Two meters. Circle. Three, two, one. So what happens if you selected the wrong mode, the drone is getting ready to take off and you just want to abort? Well, fortunately, there are several ways to stop the Neo before it takes off. The easiest way to cancel a smart snap is just to move the drone. So you can move it from side to side, you can move it up and down or just tilt it. Anything works. Once motion is detected, takeoff will abort. Another way to do it is by pressing either the mode button or the power button. The mode button is physically closer, which makes it a better choice, but any of those two buttons will do. And the last way is kind of a desperation move, and I would only use it as a last resort. In this case, just grab a hold of the drone and don't allow it to take off. The drone will increase power to the motors briefly before shutting down. <laughs> Now, if you're gonna use the last method, just be super mindful of those spinning propeller blades. If you're going to hold on to it with your free hand, it's best to grab it with a flat hand rather than trying to pinch it with your fingers. Think of a duck's bill. Personally, moving the drone is the easiest, least risky method, so I would just stick with that. Okay, let me show you some of these techniques. So I have the drone powered up. I'm just gonna hold down the mode button for a couple seconds here to get it to start. So there you go. Just give it a little bit of motion, it aborts takeoff. So let's try method number two. Medium. Follow. Three, two. So I just pressed the mode button, cancels the flight. Okay, so here's here's the uh, the desperation move. So here we go. Medium. Follow. Three, two, one. So you see, I just came in, grabbed it, held it down. The motor spin up a little bit more ferociously at first, and then it just shuts the drone down. Okay, the next essential technique you need to know is palm landing. When the drone is in the air and not moving, placing your flat palm underneath it will cause it to come in for a landing. Sometimes it may take a second or two for it to recognize your hand, but once it does, it will descend into your palm and shut off the motors. Okay, let's just do a quick demo here. So let's get it up in the air. Okay, so all I need to do is stick my hand underneath so it can see it and it will come in for a landing. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm gonna put it back up there and show you one other thing. Medium, follow, three, two, one. Well, for those of you who fly in the winter, let's just see what happens. Doesn't like it. Interesting. So, if you're one of those winter flyers, you might have to remove your mitt. There may be times when you have to immediately stop the Neo because it may put people, property, or itself in danger. Hopefully this is a rare occasion, but it's good to know you have an option if such a situation should occur. I'm going to show you an emergency shutdown technique, 
Now, this is something you don't want to use all the time. It is meant for critical situations when time is of the essence and you're just out of options. I will also say that if this is something you're not comfortable with, then don't do it. Don't even try it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is literally just snatch the drone out of the air and turn it on its side to perform an emergency shutdown. DJI drone veterans know all about this move, but what makes it easier on the Neo is it doesn't have any obstacle avoidance, so it won't try to evade you. It won't even see you coming. What you do is literally grab the drone out of the air and flip it over to shut it down. Here again, I recommend using kind of a, a duck bill hand shape rather than a pinching motion just to avoid any possibility of fingers coming in contact with the propellers. Okay, so let me get the drone in the air and I will demonstrate. Okay, the Neo doesn't have any obstacle avoidance, so it won't try to get away from my hand. So, nice flat hand shape, grab it, flip it, motor shut off immediately, easy peasy. When you're flying it using palm control, the drone doesn't mark a home point to fly back to in case something goes wrong during flight. So, for instance, if the battery gets critically low, the drone will simply land exactly where it is. It won't come back to you, it won't look for a suitable landing spot, it will just land. Now, that is a very critical piece of information to know, and knowing that, you need to be mindful of where you're flying and the state of your batteries. For this reason, it is a very good idea to avoid flying over water and to also keep the drone in visual line of sight at all times. Well, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you learned at least one new thing about flying your Neo in palm control mode. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.